build of the shrink wrap print bin that I've been building for the Clearwater Gallery. The base of the print bin will have this piece of carpet covered MDF seated in the tray that acts as the support in between the two legs. I just got through applying the finish and I'm getting ready to now use my vacuum press to press this carpet covered panel into the recess on the top. This recess is just thick enough um, to allow the carpet just to barely stick above the top surface. This will provide a nice support and grip for any prints that are sitting in the print bin. And the wood edge banding on the Baltic birch plywood panel will act as a nice uh, cover around not only the Baltic birch panel but also hide the edge of the carpet. What I plan on doing is using this panel to cover up the top of the Baltic birch and hide the screws that secure the frame to the Baltic birch. I'll use my vacuum press to firmly seat this and uh, allow the glue to set while it's flat. The bottom of the panel is veneered with rifts on uh, clear cherry. All right. So I use tight bond cold press for veneer as a glue. And this is just a small piece so I can apply the glue to the panel. Usually I'll put this in a little bin. And then I'll use a roller to smooth out the glue. And I'll have to make a couple of applications because this MDF will soak up the glue. Okay, last coat is on. I'm just paying particular attention to the edges to make sure that there's a good coat out on the edge. I don't want this to pop up. All right. Now the trick is to get this in without getting glue on the carpet. I always use these diaper wipes. They come in handy during a process like this when you don't want to get glue on anything. Okay. All set. I've got my vacuum bag all set up underneath here, so we'll put that in and I'll explain what all this is as I go. Okay, what I have set up here is my bottom platen, which is three quarter inch melamine with saw grooves cut in it. That allows the vacuum to run underneath on the bottom. I have started placing small pieces of collapsible foam on all of my corners and that basically just protects the bag as the vacuum is drawn it just eases the radius as it collapses over the corner of the bottom platen. In here is a set of two by twos raised up a little bit off the bottom and protected with uh, three layers of foam packing and that is to support this bottom tray. If I were to put this in by itself without anything underneath to support it, the vacuum is so strong it could crush this tray. And I basically have that all set up ahead of time. It's held in place with masking tape. And the last thing is my top platen. And again, I've 
put some foam on the corners to protect the edge of the bag. And there's also a, a piece of foam right here that will sit right underneath the vacuum nipple that will allow the vacuum to be drawn down on top. The reason I put foam here is because this is going to be a very tight pull on this bag. And I don't want to stress or tear the bag as I draw this vacuum down. And this will protect the bag on these corners, just like this foam protects the bag on the corners of the bottom platen. All right. And as I draw the vacuum, I will just gently position the bag around this package. OK. The bag is held tight with this piece of PVC pipe and this clamp that sits down on top of the bag. Put that in place. It's one of those times you wish you had an extra set of hands. Watching all my corners. All right, so got a good vacuum drawn down on this. I'm going to leave it in the press for about an hour and a half, two hours. We'll come back, take it out. The whole idea behind this is this is the best way to put a nice, even, flat clamping pressure on this carpet covered. Uh, panel so it sits firmly in this tray and I think it'll look really good when it's done. We'll take a look in about two hours. Alright, it's been two hours. See how we did here. All right. So again, the uh, padded calls underneath protected this from being crushed and this turned out great. It's perfectly pressed down. No glue squeeze out, which is great. And uh, I think it looks really nice.